Hi everybody, this is Tina, and I am going to discuss with you today the finish and fit of fabric. That's a lot of Fs. But when you're shopping for clothing, the finish that, ha that fabric has on it is very, very important. I'm going to go through some swatches of fabric here, that way you can see what you should and what you should not try and purchase. Because you might see an outfit that's in your color and you might think, oh, it's gorgeous, but the finish of the fabric might make it too bright, too light, or just off somehow. So let's go ahead and get started with flat finish fabrics, and I'm going to pan out just a little bit. That way you can see what a flat finish looks like. And this is some cotton. has a flat finish to it. And you can see by looking at this that this is great for me. This does not overpower me in any way. It's very much in harmony. And that's what you're looking for. If you're a true summer or a soft summer, you're probably going to be looking at flatter finishes being more flattering for you. I'm just picking all these words with F in them today. <laughs> so that's a great example of something with a flat finish. Now we're going to pick something with a little bit more of a matte semi-satin finish. This is a hydrangea. And as you can see, it has it's a, a shinier cotton. It has a little bit of a brushed finish to it. And this is also a great choice. It might even be a better choice for you, depending upon personal preference. One of the most beautiful gemstones that looks great on all summers, whether a light summer, a true summer, or a soft summer, is pearls. And this kind of mimics that slightly pearly glow, in a way. And again, this is a, a semi... You can see it like it's kind of like a satiny almost. This is another cotton too, but it's a brushed cotton and it has just a little bit of a sheen to it. And this is probably the ideal finish if you can find it. It's difficult to find, but if you can find it, grab it because it's a beautiful finish for you. Next, we go on to satin. And I'm also going to take this one out too. This is like a a chiffon. Chiffon on a summer is beautiful. This is one of our reds. Really pretty watermelon red. You see anything kind of chiffon like this where it's translucent, it's beautiful, it's light, it drapes nicely. Doesn't have too much shine to it. It has just enough of a little bit of a glow. Okay, moving on to satin. Now, there may come a time, especially when you're purchasing evening wear, which may happen just like two, three times out of the year for weddings or for holidays or whatever, that you're going to be coming across some satin dresses. And you may see many in your colors because true summer colors really show up a lot in evening wear. So I'm going to show you what a, a shiny satin looks like. And can you see how it's just way too much? It's just standing away from me and it's just taking attention totally away from my coloring, even though this blue is my color. Well, rather than wearing the right side of satin when you're making a dress or having a dress made, have the dress requested to be made on the wrong side. Can you see the difference? This is the wrong side. You still have that satiny glow, but it's not blinding. Whereas if you go to the right side of the fabric, it's a little bit too bright. And then, and this is smooth satin, by the way. And then we have textured satin. Textured satin is beautiful. This is still a little bit on the bright side. It's doable, still a little bit brilliant, so again, you might consider using the wrong side for something a little bit softer. This is kind of like a crepe de chine on the wrong side. This is flat, but it's got a little bit of texture to it, and it's hard to see it in the light, but it almost looks like a very, very subtle crushed pearl kind of finish. So anyway, there you have it. Picking out finishes of fabric that will look nice on you. And another thing that you want to avoid if you are a light summer or a true summer is texture. You notice that a lot of these fabrics don't have a lot of texture to them. They're fairly smooth. 
if you're a soft summer, you can kind of get away with like a fisherman's print of like a fisherman's knitted sweater. You can definitely do that because it has a little bit of a heavier texture to it. You can do like a knit blue, blue clay that's got some real heavy texture to it in your colors because you can handle that. But a true summer, light summer, you want something a little bit more smooth. Uh, corduroy on a true summer or a light summer, I don't recommend it. That's more for soft summer that has that little bit of an autumn blend because corduroy tends not to drape and it tends to be really, really heavy. So here I'm going to take one of my neutrals out. Not an exciting color, but it's always good to have neutrals in your wardrobe. And again, a nice flat nice flat finish. I want to show this crepe de chine again. It's just so beautiful. I'm not sure how much this is showing up in the light here, but this will give you a basic idea of what this fabric, fabric really looks like. And you can kind of see through it a little bit, not too much, but as far as evening wear goes, this is your best bet one of your best bets. And another thing you can do if you want a little bit of satin, try using a little bit of trim. Just a little bit of satin trim. See, that's not too overpowering. That That's not too bad. But when you go full on with the satin, then you know that you've got a problem. So anyway, I hope that was fairly comprehensive as to showing you what kind of fabric finishes to look for. And I hope this makes your shopping trips a little bit easier. That way, when you do find something your color, you'll definitely be looking for something that has the right texture, too, which is equally important. It's almost as important as color. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you all later.